Hi and welcome back to the Drawing Database. Professor Mark Leone here. Today we're going to spend 15 minutes with Raphael and the drawings of Raffaello Sanzio, who was born in 1483 in Urbino and died in 1520 in Rome, which puts him right in the middle of the middle to later or high Renaissance. And we see that he was a rival and a contemporary with the, the other great two of the Renaissance, Michelangelo and also Leonardo da Vinci. And so today we get a treat to see Raphael's drawings both from life and a lot of studies from out of his imagination. And we see the great control here of uh, flow and rhythm through the figure, this kind of David and Goliath sort of battle scene, if you will. Not quite sure what the scene is. But we see this beautiful flow of lines, these beautiful graceful studies that are more than likely out of the artist's imagination. And you see that his grand control of uh, male anatomy, back anatomy, lats, scapula, deltoid region, angle of the head. Here's the box right of the head coming down. We see all that great control and a very kind of um, almost incisive line that uh, Raphael had. It was much more on a tip point, like a pen holding method, right? In that you see here in the calf and see the thicker, uh, the lack of thicker lines in the thinner kind of an etched line um, that was characteristic of Raphael's uh, uh, drawing practice for preparatory works for, for his paintings. Here you see the same kind of an idea. See how very much it's on a point tip. I should probably even go a little bit thinner with my tip, but we have. I want you to see it. Um, he very much used a hatch kind of line. So if you look across the back, the back moves in this kind of direction, of course, outward. And he signifies that by giving us a rhythm around cross-contouring the form. So what I mean by cross-contouring, if we have like a simple cylinder here, right, is that you would shade across the contouring to signal that it's a turn, not uh, linearly, or excuse me, vertically downward. Um, we find a beautiful, graceful, elegant contouring, as well as a gesture approach, and then the study and the practice of very learned anatomy, clavicle coming up, a little triangular point here, deltoid, pectoral being stretched across, in underneath the deltoid and then we kind of the bicep below it all coming out graceful back studies we know that these are out of his imagination because they're not likenesses but they're studies of males in athletic kinds of poses this is an, a reproduction of a chalk drawing by uh, Raphael. i don't have the original uh, color version but i believe it's in more of a sanguine but we see the lovely uh, graceful uh, uh, drawing of a younger individual here, the younger male and the older male. We see the difference in age, the lighting source coming from relatively the top left and down onto both of the models in the graceful control of beautiful blending in the shadows and the detail in the shadows. You know, one thing about detail in the shadows is once you get your shadow shapes and you render out the light, then you go back and draw those details. Sometimes students draw those those details in the shadow first and then try to render around it. Render the whole shadow first, then the detail on top of that. Great control also of the foreshortening hands and fingers, this beautiful kind of block quality that he has. And then, he, of course, we turn them into rounded kind of uh, boxy forms in, in both control of the hands also in shadow. Here we have a uh, drawing of two males in different positions, a more rendered drawing we see in this beautiful detail of the shadow of the torso uh, of this particularly challenging figure. We get interesting challenges in this arm, the foreshortening from the uh, lower arm, the, the uh, bicep in the, the extensors and flexors here, and then this beautifully rendered uh, foreshortened hand with especially the thumb coming at us and a great control uh, uh, Raphael has in the, this chalk drawing uh, with beautiful small etched lines. We can see it here in the background, the foreground here in the book, and also along the edge, the uh, relative harder edge cast shadow coming through. Beautiful, graceful turn of the anatomy. Here's his center line in through here. Beautiful uh, pectoral 
clavicle region and then the uh, trapezius coming all the way over, riding a little bit on the clavicle and also the uh, scapula coming over and through, bulging out and through there. Lovely study, uh, mostly from, probably from life, and I think this lower leg is just a gem of drawing with this very difficult and foreshortened foot. <clears throat> This beautiful drawing of the concept of God uh, may, is made stronger by the fact that we are viewing the works. If he's a little nose in through here, maybe some eyebrows, hair. We're down looking up at the figure in terms of its viewpoint. So the positioning of the model to draw from, probably some kind of model, very relatively quickly drawn and then probably uh, uh, initially shorthand shaded and then we see that classic kind of Raphael rendering of these small hatch lines. He didn't do, to my knowledge, a lot of cross hatching, so they were mostly in relatively the same direction. And you really get, if you look close enough, these beautiful deep uh, uh, darks in the material through here with the chalk to emphasize the mouth. Maybe just a slight different color. It's a little bit hard to tell in the beautiful extra folding of the folds of the cloth in this beautiful foreshortened hand that we see the blockier part here and then the extension of the thumb and then the overlap of those fingers on top here really give us a nice interplay doesn't it there of the control of anatomy but also perspective and the figure one of my favorites of Raphael reminds me of um, a little bit also of Rubens who came later who no doubt had studied uh, Raphael quite quite nice. So we get this beautiful pose of the back of the model, but let's talk about this beautiful movement. So we get this, this movement here already, the center line of the hat in the skull. Look how far it's gonna move, watch this. Here's the center of the head moving this way, and then all the way over to here, downward right to the sacrum here, coccygeal region. It keeps moving through the split of the buttock, and then downward, and then we get this beautiful graceful up and then back, flowing back down again to get us over to this leg, this beautiful foreshort leg. And then the foot gracefully out of the composition this way. What, what, a, what a beautiful pose that's controlled um, absolutely beautifully, obviously through Raphael. His classic uh, telltale card uh, of hatched lines in a flowy rhythm here, you know, very, very gentle and very uh, supple but subtle to tease out the forms. The use of uh, some uh, coarse shadow, darker shadows in through, and then beautiful cast shadow we see on the leg a little bit from the uh, light in the arm coming down, the light sources coming through here. This would make that a cast shadow. And of course, this beautiful, graceful, boxy form that he turns into a beautiful leg. And then the beautiful egg form here of the model and then this lovely foreshortened foot coming down, just absolutely end calf, absolutely graceful. And then lastly, take a look at the, the outer boundary edges of the model here in the back of note right in through here. Notice how they're all overcut. You can get some undercutting, but the most part is to have overcuts against overcuts. One thing I learned from Robert Beverly Hale is the model, we, as, as human beings, we don't have undercuts in our body. Right, we don't have so it's a series of one small overcut to another larger to smaller, and it gives you what per is perceived as a line that does this, but is really overcut line. Something to think about in your drawing practice, at least for uh, academic, more Renaissance traditional drawings. Here's a note of Raphael uh, gesture studies of woman and child. Uh, so we see that it could be from life, or it could be uh, from out of the head, but the beautiful scratchy, uh, suggestive quality of form in a very loose uh, pen style, stylus, maybe a feather stylus style to render out just to get the basics of the skull here, right? And then her, an eye line, and then he goes in already for a little bit, the rendering of the digits, the nose, downward through here, mouth, and puts all that right. And Sheldon uses kind of this headdress to turn the head, earrings, and you get what is a very elongated, kind of elegant lady, Renaissance lady of the time kind of neck in there too. Here we see the lamentation of the dead Christ. We see Christ laid out here 
and we see what is his attendance, Mary, Mary Magdalene, and others here. We see uh, lamenting the death, but we see classic Raphael. Uh, looks like an ink, ink drawing, very tight, hatched marks and hatched lines, and a multiple figurative composition, perhaps, or probably for a painting, and they're probably done mostly from imagination, and then heightened with uh, certainly his knowledge and his he could have gone and, and found the figures. The, the the faces. The reason why I say that they look fairly generic. They don't look, they don't look uh, completely um, separated by personality, but more about control. Uh, very heavily influenced, in my opinion, by uh, Leonardo technique and style, somewhat. Uh, but again, they were all all rivals uh, as well, with Raphael being the youngest. Uh, but we see this beautiful and graceful um, uh, rendering of figures by. Raphael. Chalk drawing of male to different positions, kind of leaning back here and out the composition this way and then the other one. So there's a kind of nice design, at least to the design of the of the renderings. Probably done most exclusively from life with certainly a model and a beautiful uh, you can a technique of very light line uh, being laid down and then finding those shadow shapes. And again, probably some maybe uh, a little bit of blending with perhaps the finger, maybe a stump, and then some nice, beautiful hatched line quality across with the top left lining across the back with the model coming down in this beautiful kind of turban coming over. And you love this point here where the, where the scapula and the clavicle all come together, clavicle from the, from the backside with the deltoid here. We have a little bit of the lat in Terry's major and minor and then two heads of the deltoid with the tricep head underneath it going over and then a little bit of a little gap there and a little bit of the bicep right in through there. Lovely control. We see the same thing here, a little bit more relaxed position. Relatively famous uh, Raphael drawing or study. Again, very well learned in terms of anatomy. Here we have our gesture with our center line designed through here coming down the figure, the flow through there. So similar figures, same kind of style, very linear style, uh, very illustrative, clear as a bell kind of style. Uh, could be from probably from life. And we see again this beautiful rendering of a cross contour, mostly with a little bit of with contour or with the direction. Right in through here we see that of the legs where he teases out some of the anatomy, the, uh, the uh, tibia through there coming over but we see a lot of cross contouring notice the different the change in direction as he moves down and also the perspective of the figure as well so very beautiful linear technique of contouring and then blocking in shadow shapes in this beautiful rendering of form there and then lastly another beautiful academic drawing of uh, Raphael's with this beautiful graceful head and he takes more time rendering the body, so it was probably a study of anatomy and a position that uh, he was uh, interested in for a pose or for a painting. Notice the beautiful tilt of the shoulders, the center line through here down to what is that would be the pelvis region up and around through there. And in the beautiful graceful uh, emphasis on the arm area and the hands as they clasp around the knee down, of course, to the feet, and we see the darker parts of the core shadows where, where forms also uh, separate the beautiful use of elegant uh, contour lines in different value weights to signify light from the left side, and then, of course, we turn the figure, turn the figure in shadow, and that's where you find your darkest shadows on the bottom right because the light source is top left. So if we have top left lining, you're going to find your darkest shadows bottom right and that would be reversed if the light were in a different position. There's a quick look at Raphael. Sublime, beautiful, linearly oriented drawings with beautiful rendered uh, hatched chalk or ink lines.